Five articles to go. First is to elect a town moderator. Is there any nominations? Paul Gillies. Thank you. Uh, in light of that uh, possible conflict, I would turn the proceedings over to your chair. Are there any other nominations? Does he accept a nomination? Doesn't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, if there's no other nominations, uh, motion to close nominations? All in favor? Aye. All for Paul? For, nom uh, for moderator? Any nays? Motion carries. Paul's your moderator. Thank you. Welcome. Now, you know, every time I always say, I'm not going to be here forever, and you're going to have to think about succession. So I will help anyone who would like to take on this job, and I can tell you it's the best job in Berlin because I'll be working about two hours, and I'll get listed first in the town report. And after I leave here, my duty's done, unless you call a special meeting. So, what's the pay? <laughs> uh, it's within your heart. <laughs> Article 28 is to hear the reports of the town officers. And for that, we have traditionally gone through the report. And since we've talked about a lot of things today, you, this will be your opportunity to ask some questions that you haven't had an opportunity to shoot for. But let's start on the highway department, page 13. And uh, they've managed to get the dedication this year, so congratulations. And then also Diane Isabel, the next page. Uh, I'm going to go through this unless you stop me to call right out. There's the uh, annual report of the town clerk's office at, on 19. And the births and deaths records, which frankly worried me, and it looks like a lot more of us are going than coming here. Your name's not there, is it? I checked. All right. Be happy. Uh, 22, 23, the, and uh, no, 22 is the Board of Civil Authority, the uh, folks responsible for the checklist and the tax appeals. The budget is the next half a dozen pages. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, normally, we would have a uh, an audit report. Is that? That's still pending. Still pending? We'll put that on the website when it's received. Okay. Yeah, it's coming. Uh, 29 is the list of delinquent taxes. Assessors used to be listers on 30. Highway Department, 31. Uh, zoning, 32. Uh, Recre I'm going to go Recreation Committee, uh, 35. Sure. take an assessor probably to total those up. That is an excellent Maybe question. The best guess. I don't even have that, quite honestly. It's an excellent question. And I would be interested in learning more. Give Thank me, you. Give me a couple minutes with you and Sophie. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Tor. Uh, volunteer department, uh, fire department report, 38, 39, 40, 41. 42. And then uh, 
After that, it all goes to private nonprofit, and I, you should read these, but uh, we wouldn't expect them to be called on unless they were in the previous pre-town meeting situation. So, any other questions about the town report? I'm sure our people. Yes, Pat. <coughs> We all read the article about our PLA. That wasn't a good article, may I just make a comment? Um, and I think, but a lot of towns are struggling. Oh, I took to Barry City, theirs is down. Mm -hmm. um, and apparently there's nobody able to do the um, the reports of our, of our value of our homes and stuff. Are we looking to do that soon? Because it's been a while. It has been a while, and we have been talking about the assessments, et cetera. It hasn't been scheduled at this point in time. There's, there's very few people to do it, and apparently they're out years. Mm -hmm. So yes. we could be looking at the low CLA for quite a while. It's somewhat upsetting. It's a good point, and Tour can speak to that as well, how it will affect Berlin. But I did read the article, too. And yeah. now, we're not all, but we are one of the worst, mm -hmm. because Barry Right, right. We've seen the drop and be concerned. Um, yeah. Sorry. Uh, we have all seen the big drop in our uh, COA this year down to about 72%. Um, See, so we are going to be mandated by the state to do the timeline reappraisal. Um, I know in the past couple of years the select board has looked at it, but has not uh, engaged with the appraisal as far as I know. So we will have to start that process. And like I said, we're probably looking a couple of years out. Correct. And there's uh, you know a couple of RFPs out by other towns right now for reappraisal services. So we'll just be further down on that list with very few companies to do that. It, it is a shock, and it's, uh, it's been 16 years now. Last time I was in 2008. Uh, common level of appraisal. Pra common level of appraisal. Shall we go on to, to the uh, 29? That, this is the longest article we have, and you're going to have to listen to me read it twice. So the way this works is that I'll read it, and then I'll ask if someone will move it, and then if someone will second it, and then we can discuss it. And after we're done discussing it, I'll read it again, and we'll vote on it. So bear with me. Shall the town collect its real and personal property taxes to defray the expenses of the town from the period July 1, 2024 through June 30, 2025 in installments? One-fourth of the tax is to be due by delivery or by U.S. Postal Service postmark, no private postal meter postmarks, on or before August 15, 2024, one-fourth of taxes due on or before November 15, 2024, one-fourth of the taxes due on or before February 15, 2025, and one-fourth due on or before May 15, 2025, with an 8% penalty and 1% interest per month, or portion thereof, to be charged for late payment of any installment. Will someone have the courage to bring this article before the assembly? Bob. And Pat is second. Is it would like to discuss this in any way? Anybody have an opinion about it? Sir? Question is, does it have to be the eight percent if you are in franchise today to change it by an amendment if if a majority of you agree? Um, this issue has come up 
many times in the last 10 years at least. Um, any interest in moving to amend 8% to some other percentage? We take a, an amendment. Uh, sir? Well, there's eight percent. Well, eight percent is 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 something that the statute requires, state statute. But but towns have the capacity to change it to a lesser amount, or I, I wouldn't recommend going above it. But um, how much is usually brought in? Uh, I would hope that would be in somewhere in the town report under delinquent tax collection or perhaps the treasurer. Rachel, can you have? Can you tell us where we would find that? Uh, under uh, revenues to be received, would it be under penalties? Probably merged in with a lot of other late fees and things. But well, we'll put someone on that <laughs> and find the answer. Uh, who can also find the answer to the difference between businesses paying taxes and residents? Something else, sir? have a number in mind? So you are amending Article 29 to change 8% in the next to the last line to 2%. Is that correct? You said 1%. Oh, 1%. I'm sorry. Is there anyone who would second that article at that amendment? There's a second. Discussion. Would you like to just address it, sir? Yeah, so I have some numbers uh, from um, last fiscal year, uh, total of $45,000 uh, $45, that were, was brought in by the uh, delinquent rates. Uh, keep in mind that reducing this uh, interest rate does not reduce the amount of the town budget. So any money we do not make up this way, we'll have to make up through property taxes. Is, is good and it maybe maybe something else would be would work. Are you prepared? 
prepared to offer an amendment to the amendment? I don't know what, I don't even know if 8% is right. Um, I, I, it's 8% in the article. And it's in statute. Um, this gentleman has done, He's has done suggested 1%. 1%. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. It's too low, I think. But so, if they can, if they have the right, so 4. All right. The amendment has been proposed to be amended. Is there someone who will offer, uh, to, from, to 2%? And uh, is there a second? Sorry, it fails for lack of assent. I'm sorry. All right. Now, now this is this is this is good for a moderator because it's been pretty boring. Up to now. <laughs> so now we have an amendment. We have a main article for the four. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, so anyway, we've got main main article, which is Article 29, and that says eight percent. And this gentleman has suggested 1%, and Pat has suggested 4%. And the way it works is that we go then in reverse order, so we'll be voting on whether to adopt the Second Amendment. The effect of the Second Amendment will be to amend the First Amendment. We'll take a vote on that. And then, just to be sure we know what we're doing, we'll have a third vote, and by the way, I'll have to read this whole article every time we do this, but that's all right. So first thing I'm going to ask, are you ready for the question? Any more discussion? We're going to be voting on 4%, and the article is now to read. I, I'm sorry, I can't see everybody. Yes, sir. I, I think so. Yes. Uh, so if somebody paid an annual uh, tax bill of, say, $4,000 and they paid 1,000 quarters, 1% would be $10 a day. And right. And the current rate, 8%, would be $8 a day. Right. So it's not like a dollar Any other discussion? Yes, sir. I read here in your I remember when this all came about many years ago. We put the 8% in there as a deterrent for people that were always paying late. Uh, the reason that they put the 8% level threshold is like the man was just saying, 1% is just a drop in the bucket. It doesn't deter them from doing it. If they pay late, they get the money in the bank. They get the interest. We don't. So therefore, it was more of a deterrent Okay, anybody else? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think that your amendment has been proposed and it's been seconded and it doesn't belong to you anymore. It belongs to all of us. So, uh, yes, sir. I have a question on how this percentage applies. Is it per month? No, uh, pe the penalty is a one-time fee. There, the, if you look at the article, there's a, a, an interest fee that comes every month. But if you're, if you're late, that's it. You're, you're 8%. It does say 8% per month, doesn't it? No, it's a... No, it, it really doesn't. It, you've got to put the per month with the interest. Yeah. Okay, so we have... Uh, oh, wait, 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 where? Here. All right, up here first. Uh, I think that you know, the gentleman in the white uh, pullover is absolutely correct. I moved here nine years ago from a town that did our taxes twice a year, so I wasn't familiar with this four times a year thing. I missed by one day, and I paid that 8% and whatever interest was for one day. I have not missed since then. <laughs> nine years. I will not miss. <laughs> it's a little pricey, you know, like you said. It's enough money to make me pay on them. <laughs> okay, you had something?
Are you ready to vote on the Second Amendment? That's not the Second Amendment of the Vermont Constitution. That's the Second Amendment to Article 29. Uh, but uh, if you don't want to, I suppose if there was a unanimous vote to withdraw it in support of the mover and the seconder, uh, that would work. I don't know. I, I, you're on the edge of my facility at this point. Uh, would you agree that we could just put it up to a vote and see how it goes? Therefore, the Second Amendment would read, shall the town collect its real and personal property taxes to defray the expenses of the town for the period of July 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2025 in installments. One fourth of the taxes to be due by delivery for, or by U.S. Postal Service postmark, no private postal meter postmarks, on or before August 15th, 2024, one fourth of the taxes due on or before November 15th, 2004, one fourth of the taxes due on or before February 15th, 2025, and one fourth due on or before May 15th, 2025, with a, and this would be the amended, 4% penalty and a 1% interest per month or a portion thereof to be charged for late payment of any installment. All in favor of the amendment, which would change 8% to 4%, say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. No. The moderator is uncertain. That means that the next step should be, you're also comfortable use raising your hand. So all those in favor of of um, accepting the amendment, raise your hand. And I'd ask the select board to do the counting here, so I'm out of it. Raise your hand. Well, I guess that's one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and those opposed? The amendment fails. Now we're in the first amendment, the primary amendment, as they say. And this and this is, the, uh, this is the way it would read, what we were voting on. Shall the town collect its real and personal property taxes to defray the expenses of the town for the period July 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2025 in installments? One fourth of the taxes to be due by delivery or by U.S. Postal Service postmark, no private postal meter postmarks. On or before August 15th, 2024, one fourth of the taxes due or on or before November 15, 2004, one-fourth of the taxes due on or before February 15, 2025, and one-fourth due on or before May 15, 2025, with a 1% penalty and a 1% interest per month or portion thereof to be charged for late payment of, all, of an installment. All those in favor of the primary amendment say aye. And those opposed, say no. 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 We are now back to the original Article 29 as amended. Are there any other amendments? Is there any other questions or comments? I'm sorry? You misspoke. You said as amended, but it's not as uh, No, as, as unamended. I'll read it so you know what we're talking about. And do you have a... Point uh, it's permitted just informationally because uh, Ken and I would love feedback. A bill just passed the House that would make it uniform around the state that the interest would be a half percent instead of one percent. So that the monthly interest for late payments would be reduced from one percent to half a percent per month. So. Let us know what you think of that. Okay, but focus on what we're doing. We're right in the middle of Article 29. It's done. Uh, amendment to the amendment, it failed. We did amendment, it failed. Now we're back to the original article. This will be the 8%, but you've got to hear me say it again. Shall the town collect its real and personal property taxes to defray the expenses of the town for the period July 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2025 in installments? One fourth of the taxes to be due by delivery or by U.S. Postal Service postmark, no private postal meter postmark. 
<coughs> on or before August 15th, 2024, one fourth of the taxes due on or before November 15th, 2024, one fourth of the taxes due on or before February 15th, 2025, and one fourth due on or before May 15th, 2005, with an 8% penalty and 1% interest per month or portion thereof to be charged for late payment of any installment. All in favor of this article say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. The article passes. Article 30 is, says, shall the voters of the town of Berlin call upon the United States Postal Service to establish a post office and zip code within the town to service its residents and businesses. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait till I call for the vote. Uh, anyone want to talk about that? Uh, thank you. So here again, there's a uh, one pager on the front table, also on the website, uh, giving a little background on this. Um, you know, Berlin has been without a post office for 25, no, 35 plus years uh, at this point. Um, and there's been several efforts over the past uh, 20 plus years to reestablish a post office. Uh, I've given a brief uh, summary of some of these efforts on this page. Um, all of these letters and documents are on the town website to take a look at. Um, in 2008, Pat and her committee did a major effort to uh, our congressional delegation and everything, uh, including lots of letters of support, petitions, and uh, everything like that. Um, and it's kind of languished a couple times since then. Uh, with the flooding in the Montpelier post office that occurred uh, last summer, it took a bad situation and made it even worse. Um, you know, that, that whole continuity of government uh, situation in my Peter post office is just totally unacceptable as a government organization. Uh, but it does, in my mind, provide us another opportunity here. Since they're looking at what to do with the Montpelier post office, I think it's good once again uh, to, you know, reestablish uh, our efforts here in Berlin. Uh, let's work with the post office when, with the work they're doing in Montpelier and finally get us a post office that we need and a zip code that we, des we deserve here in Berlin. I know the sister mentioned it earlier with the uh, efforts with the online ordering and the options tax with the different zip codes. Uh, Pat, you mentioned before something about a refrigerator uh, not getting delivered. Uh, we've all got stories to tell about how, you know, you know GPS doesn't work. Uh, Businesses are misbranded. Uh, you know, you mentioned something. The bowling alley, I think, was was you know called themselves in Barry. I've seen car dealerships call themselves in Barry. They have big directions on their websites that you can't just put it in your GPS and, and get here. I think it's time. And you know, I I said it the wrong way. I said the squeaky mouse gets the wheel, but that's not right. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Uh, so you know, I'm prepared to make another effort at this and see where we can go. Uh, probably because I just because I wrote this at the last minute. Does that count? <laughs> Haste makes waste. Let me get this back to the moderator. Is somebody amending? Are you amending it? Has it been moved? I haven't heard. I'm just inquiring. Sure. I'm not pushing it. I'm just asking if you want to amend it. Ooh, I stepped on that. All right, well, we've talked I'll about it a little, hand. Who will move it? I'll move it. Who will second it? Uh, All right, thank you. Now we're okay. How would you like to amend it? All right, is there a second? Wait, 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 don't discuss it until we get a second. I'll second that. All right, now you may discuss it. I just think it's really important for people have that understanding that we did have one. There is a zip code out there that is still about us. Any other discussion? Why did they leave? Why did they leave? 
So here we are again. We have a primary amendment. The article, if you accept that primary amendment, would be shall the voters of the town of Berlin call upon the United States Postal Service to add an R, reestablish a post office and zip code within the town to, get, to service its residents and businesses. And that, it's been a long day so far. Has it been moved and seconded? Yes. Yes, okay. Are you ready for the question? Okay. Uh, all in favor of the amendment to add, to change established to reestablish, say aye. Aye. And those opposed, no. Now, we have to vote it again because all we did was amend the article as warned. So, shall the voters of the town of Berlin call upon the United States Postal Service to reestablish a post office and zip code within the town? to service its residents and businesses. All in favor say aye. Aye. And those opposed, no. Article 31, to discuss other business that may legally come before the meeting, meeting cannot be used for binding action, but it may be used for a resolution or a sense of the town. And it's also traditionally used to thank people for their services. And it, before I forget, I think it's only appropriate that we give thanks to our select board and our, our administrators. And as long as it warms you up, how about the road crew? Has anyone any, anything to add? Any announcements or opinions or whatever? Yes? Best to echo what you said, we owe a great deal of thanks to our road crew uh, for the work they did uh, during and immediately after the floods. Uh, they did a great job getting the roads reopened and a lot of work done. There's still work to do, as we all know, uh, but we owe them a great deal of thanks. Also to our police and fire departments. They worked effortlessly uh, during the floods. Uh, evacuating people, the police department, they were going door-to-door uh, -door in hip deep water on foot delivering medications to people who needed them uh, so we owe them a great deal of thanks I'll, wait my turn. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep this short uh, among other things I am the town's representative to the Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District um, and I am going to be stepping back from that to just be an alternate as opposed to the primary representative on the uh, district board. Uh, it is in our town report, um, and I was going to look that up before I got up here and I didn't do that. Um, so there is a, a report to the town from the Solid Waste Management District in the town report. Um, the board meets eight times a year. It's not a large burden to represent the town's interest, but it's a, an important group that serves to reduce waste and handle waste in a safe manner to take care of household hazardous waste and other toxic waste that exists in our community but needs to be appropriately managed. Um, so if anyone is interested in serving in that way, I'd encourage you to get in touch with either me or with Tor and uh, we'll, we'll try to find someone to continue being the town's voice on this important municipal entity. Thank you. Thanks. Anyone else? Joe? Yeah, there's a, a, a small group that doesn't necessarily get a lot of recognition. I'm going to call it out as uh, the, the emergency management. Bruce Richardson, he kind of heads up the, a small group of people that play the what if game. Well, truly that what if comes along. Uh, Tour is actually also part of that group. They, they support um, the road crew, PD, um, the fire department, and, and all of us. This is a very small group that really could use a hand. So they meet, I believe, on the second Thursday of every month. 
there at the fire department. Uh, secondly, on your way out, if anyone thinks they need a COVID test, grab a couple to go. Uh, I'm going to tell you March 23rd is a Saturday pie breakfast. And it's going to be at the Berlin Fire Department. It's a great community of, you know, gathering. I don't necessarily care. This is all, uh, I think there is probably a set price, but it's a fundraiser, but it's great to have communities <coughs> come together. Um, also on May 4th, the Red Cross is going to be doing their sound sound the alarm so there if there's anyone here in the community i don't care if it's your home your neighbors your friends whatever that is look on front porch uh, forum look at the website i believe the red cross website we can sign up we'll have people going out putting in uh, smoke detectors in any of one of these homes and i just want to thank um, the berlin fire department very much for your dedication they are going to be serving lunch as a donation, and if you don't want to stick around and eat and talk with your friends or whatnot, you want to grab something to go, they are able to do that for you as well. Thank you very much. I'd just like to speak on behalf of the Conservation Commission. Uh, one of my frustrations is that trees don't seem to have a, a, a voice and uh, there are, we need to take care of our land and we could use some more people to help. Thank you. Thank you. Hey there, Corinne Cooper, president of the Berlin Historical Society, which didn't, it wasn't as active as usual this year. I was one of the people who got flooded out. Um, but we would love to have more people involved. We've been trying to do some stuff behind the scenes. You'll see in the town report starting on page 46, uh, there's a lot of information about uh, prior floods, not just the 1927 and 92 and and 2011 that people think of, but a whole lot of history on it with more to still be dug out. We would love to have more people join us, uh, especially if they're willing to work on some projects, and we would love to um, get to having some office hours manned, whether it be during the day or in the evening or on the weekend, even if it's just a couple of hours. Um, so I hope you'll consider that. And in the report, it tells you how you can get hold of me. Thanks. Thanks. Last chance. Article 31, or no, there's no article. We're done with, done with this article, but there's something we need to do before we go, which is dismiss the meeting. So is, would anyone bring a motion to, to end this meeting? Bob, and a second? Somebody? Yes, thank you. All in favor of uh, ending this meeting, say aye. 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 Those opposed, no? Nay. Thank you. See you next week, year. <laughs> <laughs>